according to sources close to the former England cricket captain, Andrew Freddie Flintoff, decided not to file a lawsuit against the BBC after a terrible accident on top gear rendered him incapacitated for months. According to reports, Mr. Flintoff, 45, and the company reached a £9 million settlement for two years' worth of lost wages. According to reports, both Mr. Flintoff and the BBC are satisfied with the deal. The Sun stated that when he and the BBC agreed to settle privately with as little animosity as possible, he forfeited a potentially bigger payout, according to insiders acquainted with the transaction. The BBC and the father of four, who is still recovering from his life-altering significant wounds, are allegedly eager to collaborate again on upcoming projects. According to reports, he is getting ready to return to television to produce a second season of Field of Dreams, the BBC documentary series from 2022, in which he introduced kids in his hometown of Preston to cricket. In September, nine months after being admitted to the hospital, following an injury sustained while filming the BBC motoring show at its test track at Dunsfold Aerodrome in December, Mr Flintoff made his first public appearance with face injuries. According to insiders, the cricket star had life-altering injuries in the incident last year, which may have prompted him to turn down other work or not be offered it in the first place. Additionally, they assert that he is still dealing with the physical and psychological effects of the collision after being utterly traumatised and shell-shocked by the incident. The insider said, You cannot underestimate the physical and mental toll this crash had on him. However, Fred is still very much recovering and at the moment is solely focused on this coaching England cricket and spending time with his family. It's never been about the money for Fred. BBC Studios stated that it sincerely apologised to Freddie and that it would still stand behind him. Freddie and BBC Studios have come to an agreement that, in our opinion, supports his ongoing recovery, return to work and future goals, according to a BBC Studios representative. We sincerely apologise to Freddie and will continue to assist him in his recovery, the statement said. After conducting an internal inquiry into what transpired, the BBC declared in March that it would not be suitable to start up the programme again at that time. Future Top Gear episode decisions would reportedly be made in due course in conjunction with BBC content. Mr. Flintoff is currently planning a second season of Field of Dreams as his return to television for the following year. According to a recent story in The Sun, Mr. Flintoff might possibly host Chasing Cars, a car enthusiast-focused version of The Repair Shop. But as the one-year anniversary of the crash that caused him to withdraw from the public eye for months approaches, he is reportedly taking his time before making a comeback to television. Last December, Mr. Flintoff was operating a Morgan Super 3, a lightweight track day sports vehicle with two front wheels and one rear, when it toppled at the Dunsfold test track near Guildford, Surrey. The cricketers scraped his face along the asphalt in horrible scenes, seen by the TV production team since the open top car lacks airbags, and he wasn't wearing a helmet when the car flipped at about 22 miles per hour. According to reports, Mr. Flintoff may decide to be interrogated regarding the physical and mental effects of the collision. In both the BBC documentary Freddie Flintoff, Living with Bulimia, and an interview with Piers Morgan for Life Stories, he openly disclosed details of his battle with an eating disorder. His return to the spotlight is something that both television executives and the general public have been pining for, and happily he now appears ready to return to doing what he loves, a TV insider told The Sun yesterday. He just has to get through the crash's one-year anniversary so he can concentrate on his career's next phase. After the collision, 
Mr. Flintoff reportedly needed several surgeries since he was dragged along the road and damaged his ribs and facial bones. The BBC has refuted the assertion that several employees who saw it were diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and took out sick as a result. He withdrew from the spotlight at his family's request so that he could heal, coming out of hiding for the first time last month to mentor England cricketers. The BBC was deemed to have no case to answer in the investigation launched in the wake of Mr Flintoff's accident, but Worcestershire-based British automaker Morgan has maintained that the vehicle was in perfect working order. The vehicle, known as the Super 3, has a top speed of 130 miles per hour and can reach 62 miles per hour in seven seconds. On its website, Morgan describes the automobile as having heightened senses with every drive as you are forced to remain present and focused. Freddy was not wearing a helmet, but he was not required to, a source informed the Mail on Sunday earlier this month. He was on a private track and the car has a halo safety system, making it acceptable to drive without a helmet. He scraped his face along the tarmac as the automobile flipped as they were just getting started and on the first corner. Following the incident on December 13th, filming for the remaining episodes of the most recent season of Top Gear, which also stars Mr. Flintoff, Paddy McGuinness and automotive writer Chris Harris, was halted. It's not even the first time Mr. Flintoff has run out of runway while filming for Top Gear while operating a Time Bandit, a motorized trike with a top speed of more than 120 miles per hour. He was protected from harm in the September 2019 mishap since he was wearing a full motorbike suit and helmet. Since the departure of stalwarts Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May in 2015 when Clarkson punched a producer, Mr. Flintoff has been the show's host. This is the third significant overhaul of the program. Veteran of radio and television Chris Evans was chosen to host a new season of Top Gear alongside Matt LeBlanc, Neil Harris and Rory Reed. While Reed and LeBlanc were replaced with Mr. Flintoff and Mr. McGuinness four years ago, Evans left the show after one season. In spite of Mr. Flintoff's disaster, which is the second serious incident on Top Gear after Richard Hammond's 300 miles per hour dragster crash in 2006 that put him in a coma for two weeks, the BBC has refuted claims that the show is officially over.